Well, till now you might have used a lot of uh, devices that are powered by MediaTek. Uh, TV, smartphone, streaming devices. But you know what? MediaTek has got some huge plans for auto industry, auto tech. Uh, am I going to talk about it? Nah. I'm not going to talk about it. I've got with uh, me Mr. Chang, who is corporate VP from MediaTek. Hi, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for interviewing me. Great. So, I heard this is your first visit to India. Yes. And uh, I think you landed yesterday at around 2 a.m. India. Yeah. Morning 10 a.m. you were at the conference. And the first line you see in the conference is, India is not just great for India, but for the world. Yes. Very powerful statement. Mm. I just want to understand when you say that India is important for the world also, what does it mean in terms of technology mm. and especially auto technology and uh, what's MediaTek doing in it? Yeah, I think first of all, uh, the first impression in India, as you mentioned, is not the heat, okay. it's the energy here. Right. Okay, so we see the GDP in India, the fast growing area, uh, country in the world. And we see a lot of things happening right now, manufacturing. And also, we believe uh, India can be the world factory, especially in automotive. Why would say that? Because the uh, automotive industry here, that they adopt the latest SOC products, they in innovation uh, as well. So we believe that uh, in the future, automotive industry in India is growing and more and more uh, uh, good product to the customer and maybe outside India as well. Right. There's great potential on that. Right. So you mean to say that the, the way the currently the things are happening in India, the focus is on manufacturing, development and keeping in mind the future. Like whatever we see today is not like earlier when a lot of technologies used to come to India. We were almost five years, six years behind them. But right now you're saying we are looking ahead and all these technologies which even the world might use will be developed in India. Yes. And okay, that's a very interesting one. Now tell me, what's the role that MediaTek uh, will play in it? Well, I think MediaTek, we are very good at the uh, SOC, mm -hmm. at the chip design, but also we have a lot of IP. For example, as you see, in multimedia, the smartphone, there's a camera that's used in car. There's a display in TV that's in car. And also we have high performance computing CPU mm -hmm. that's going to use in car. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of technology uh, we have in our core technology pool that's in MediaTek and has been applied to many verticals. These technology are the fundamental thing for automotive. Uh, together, I think that we also care about uh, that uh, automotive grade chip and also safety. Mm -hmm. A lot of things that are needed uh, to deliver a qualified SOC for automotive industry that MediaTek possess all of them. Okay, so in terms of like if I want to make it explain it to a layman, what are the five or six things that will happen in a car which will be powered by the MediaTek and even a common man can understand this thing. What yeah. will be those things? I think first of all is that uh, good user experience. Mm -hmm. When you get into the car, what do you need in the future? I think there's a lot of AI happening that uh, help you to uh, use your car. Mm -hmm. And also there's a good display. Now they talking about the pillar to pillar display. So you can have, uh, you know, very beautiful user experience and mm -hmm. also immersive user experience inside that's powerful by the high performance computing CPU and GPU and the AI we call the MPU. Uh, that's very important, but also the camera surround view Mm -hmm. so, uh, we already use that in other products like smartphone, surveillance IP cam product, and also display for TV, bring the best picture quality into your car. Mm -hmm. That's very important. In the future, uh, when you park, maybe you are watching uh, streaming uh, content right. in your car with a bigger screen as compared to your mobile phone. So uh, a better you know, in-car surround audio that, that's great for your Lovely. user experience. Lovely. So what uh, uh, he's talking about, the three major things that will happen in the car because of the MediaTek solutions. One is entertainment. You know, entertainment is a life life of Indians. Uh, not Indians, globally, everyone. The second one is security. So you're well aware about the surroundings and everything. And the third most important thing is the information about your car's health and well-being. Okay, 
here another interesting thing comes up like when we uh, uh, people are talking about EVs about the uh, uh, technology in car this is uh, people always say oh my god there's so much technology going into the car now my regular mechanic cannot uh, eliminate any fault that comes into the car, I will have to go to the showrooms or the experts. So, my time gets wasted. Is it going to be so? Well, I think that uh, it's most important things in future that uh, the technology make it easier mm -hmm. for everyone, right. even the driver and the, you know, when you want to uh, use a car, everything become easier. Well, I think all of the will be powered by AI. Mm -hmm. So make it understand the car easier. For example, in the future, uh, I always give example of the user manual for car. Mm -hmm. How many times you open the thick book to understand Anything. how to use a car? Never, right. right? And if you want to use a touch panel, the button to search the information you need in the car, it's difficult, mm -hmm. time consuming, right? How about in the future, you talk to the car, your need, for example, when you have a flat tire, how to handle that? Mm -hmm. uh, when you want to have a safety seat for your kids, how to install that? Mm -hmm. So they can pop up the information once you ask. So that's AI can bring to you. That's, for example, just give you, uh, make it easier for everyone. Right. Yeah. Basically, an auto genie inside your car. Yes. The genie will help you when you are yeah. in trouble. Yeah. And even when you are not in trouble, then that time also it will be helping you. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have uh, seen your solution in the auto solutions. Uh, I think a few months back, uh, they were showcased in one of the events in Delhi. And now today you are making a lot of announcements about uh, that uh, we are in talks with a lot of OEMs or a lot of partners to bring our mm -hmm. solutions. So, we thought Maruti Suzuki over here, we saw Mahindra, we saw Tata. Which one of them is going to bring your solutions first in India? Well, I, because uh, we're going to have five model, uh, SOP, we call mass production mm -hmm. next month. Mm -hmm. and, and then another 11 models uh, at the end of the year. Okay. I think that belong the OEM's name you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I believe in next year, there will be more. I think that uh, we're going to uh, the power, the OEMs here to provide the best solution to them uh, to, to expand the market not only here but right. in the future into the world. Right. Yeah. So Mahindra, Tata, Maruti Suzuki are going to be the customers who will be using your solution and we might see the solution maybe in the next couple of months? Well, yeah. Some of them, but I cannot disclose the company's name because it's not a SOP right, right now. Right. Yeah. So he's, he cannot tell about clearly the names, but yes, these are the companies which we had seen at the MediaTek event. And you know, one plus one is equal to two and two is equal to, you can understand. But uh, apart from that, like uh, what are the, uh, anything special you are doing in the uh, e EV space for the scooters or two wheelers? Yes, that's also uh, very important. We know that uh, two wheelers goes to be the fast Kager, mm -hmm. the big Kager every year. So we also, MediaTek also have very good two-wheel uh, two solutions. I think that uh, also, I think that bring, uh, even for more affordable to everyone, right? The two-wheeler, yeah, so that's also our mission. Yeah. Right, so s similarly to the smartphone strategy, where MediaTek has never focused only on one particular price segment, that's the budget or the mid-budget or the premium thing. Same with goes with the auto segment. Here also they have got solutions for huge big cars, mid-sized cars, as well as two wheelers. So Mike, it was lovely talking to you. Thanks for your time. Thank you very and much. And we look forward to your solutions and uh, how they perform on the Indian roads. Uh, thank you. So friends, uh, like uh, this was uh, Mike who was talking about MediaTek's plans in India and he didn't name the OEMs with whom like they're going to come to India, but he gave a lot of hints what are going to the solutions going to be. Uh, do watch this space for more information on uh, MediaTek uh, whenever they launch a new car and uh, what are the new features. Till then, take care.